Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ryan here, and this is my first review in about three, well, actually four months. And this is Le Miserable. I want to make this a quick review, as short as possible, but I don't want to make it a short review. Oh, it's so hard. Okay, make it as quick as possible. Oh my god! Le Miserable was so great! Ah! Oh! I've never seen the Broadway musical, and I didn't, like, really, um... I didn't know much about it at all. And I was like, hmm, Hugh Jackman is in it. Russell Crowe was like, holy sh holy crap. So and then, and Hathaway's in I was like, oh my gosh, this is freaking amazing. And I looked about online like a year ago or so. I don't remember. And then I was like, oh, this movie is going to be awesome. And when I saw the trailer for the first time, I didn't know anything about it. And I saw the trailer like back in May with I Dream the Dream of Anne Hathaway. I was like, oh my gosh. My most anticipated movies of the year now. And I saw this trailer like seven months ago. It blew me away. Before I saw this movie, I didn't want to know anything about this movie. I didn't know any songs. I only know the song One More Day and I Dreamed a Dream and I knew barely nothing about it. I only saw a few TV spots before this movie. I wanted to be fresh before I saw this movie. I didn't know anything about it. San Francisco State, they have a thing called Universal Films at SF State and you get like free giveaways. Like we saw, I saw Pitch Perfect a week before it came out, it was like early screening. And they said, um, the force four people who post their favorite song and Lem is around the Broadway musical gets um, a free poster and the bookmark and I posted first. I said, "Dream, I dreamed a dream." It's my favorite music song in the musical, and I won a free poster. Uh, I, I I got a free poster, and it is awesome. I was like freaking out. I wish I put it up there, but I forgot it because I'm home for winter break. But my home, but my poster is in San Francisco. Throughout the movie, I was like, "Okay, beginning. Okay, this movie's good. I I like this movie. It's, it's good." And then the movie's like, "Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good." And there was like this really awful noise every five seconds like this shh, shh, this wind and it was really annoying i was getting distracted i was like you don't want to go back and pick focus on the movie and halfway was great she wasn't in a lot of scenes but i think she was great really dramatic and emotional hugh jackman man he is by far the best performance in this movie i didn't expect him to be that emotional his raw emotion and he was so like three-dimensional which i loved about it russell crowe some people don't like his singing i thought it was pretty decent and I actually thought he was good. I don't like him at all for some reason. I'm not gonna say why so long. I'm not gonna explain, but I don't, I don't like him, but I thought he was good. Amanda Seyfried was was good. I thought she, she could have been more important. Sasha Baron Cohen was really good. It was great hearing him sing. Great comic relief. Hannah Bunner Carter was good. Sometimes when people sing, it's too much. And even if I feel that a couple songs were unnecessary, the whole movie is singing. And the singing carries the story. What they sing is how they feel. It's like pretty much the narrative of the whole movie, all the songs, and I thought that was great. The way Tom Hoomer directed this movie, the guy who made the King's Speech, really well directed because the, the way the movie looked, the costumes were great, the set designs were great. The way he like has close-ups and has just panning the shot of just one take of them singing, and sometimes they were editing during some singing, one shot of the singing, if it was like an emotional performance of, sing of a song, it was great. The soundtrack was great, I never heard any song before, but there were some scenes I was like, oh, this is so good. I like the story, it's very interesting. And it's somewhat beautiful in a sense. Some scenes, it's like a lot of like beautifulness to it. And like, just the way they conclude it, it's so beautiful. This movie is, um, they didn't like lip sync it. Or like, kind of like lip sync it during the, they're actually singing in real life when they're doing the filming and like during their takes. Great idea because you, you can feel their emotions. Some scenes when they're actually singing and emotional, I was crying because it was so powerful and real, like Hugh Jackman when he was singing. I was like, Wolverine made me cry! Some scenes when Amanda Seyfried sang, when she sang, it was so like beautiful, like the way she sang. I was like, oh, and my, I was like, tears were going down my eyes. When I left the theater, I was like, I just experienced something special. My only problem was probably it could have been... Some musical numbers were kind of unnecessary, but I still enjoyed it, but it kind of... Some scenes weren't as interesting as others. This movie was so worth the wait of the seven months of wait or, or year waiting for this movie. Nine out of ten. A solid nine out of ten. It was originally like a ten out of ten or nine and a half when I left the theater. But definitely not as like enthusiastic, but this is just a great piece of musical filmmaking. This is a special movie. I love this movie. Go see it. This this review isn't justice for this movie. Go see it. Goodbye.